sometimes patients really wonder, um, do I have an infection? Hi, this is Dr. Galen Choi with North Texas Dental Surgery, and I wanted to answer a common question that patients have after getting their wisdom teeth removed. And sometimes patients really wonder, um, do I have an infection, right? So typically it's safest after wisdom teeth extractions. You definitely want to make sure that your surgical specialist um, gives you a week's worth regimen of antibiotics. So, um, you know, just for to lessen the chance of potential infection um, at, in your sockets after the wisdom teeth extractions. And so what we're typically looking for um, if, to see if a patient has a potential infection and potential infection usually um, comes about because uh, potentially a foreign particles such as food or something, et cetera, was caught down in the socket. And um, as a gum is trying to close over the area, that particle can become closed off and cause an infection. And so some signs and symptoms that you may be experiencing is when you kind of feel around your jaw that you feel a little bit more pain than the other areas, right? But again, I wouldn't use that as the number one precursor to um, suspect that you have a potential infection, but you just do notice that there's a little bit more pain there. Um, another thing would be when you feel in that area, do you feel like a hard lump or not developing? I definitely want to preface this by saying that, you know, after your wisdom teeth extractions, this really varies person to person, but depending on how impacted your wisdom teeth are, um, your amount of swelling differs and can be expected to be to differ patient by patient and even um, from socket to socket or which wisdom teeth you had extracted. Some wisdom teeth that are highly impacted are just going to get more swelling in that area. So um, it would just be unavoidable. But you know what we're looking for in regards to feeling like a hard knot, we're talking about whether two, three, four weeks down the line, five weeks down the line, that you do notice um, a hard knot developing that's tender. Um, another sign of potential infection would be, um, do you have like a foul taste that's developing in that area? Because whenever you're palpating and you're noticing a funny taste back, back there, again, time being the most important thing, like is this happening around you know two to five weeks after the procedure? Again, this swelling or like any sort of like lump or whatever that's developing the area, typically if that's happening within the first like week or so, um, that's just the swelling and the pain associated from getting your wisdom teeth. But these symptoms are something that we're looking for longer term weeks down the road to potentially tell us that there is an infection. Now, if we do potentially have an infection, which you should definitely do is go contact your, your doctor, right? So go in for an appointment for your follow-up appointment and tell them the symptoms. And so what he'll be able to do is he'll be able to take any you know, necessary x-rays, kind of like take an inspection, you know, feel around your jaw, see um, if he sees any signs of infection and also take a look inside your mouth. Maybe there's some pus developing the area. So what would he potentially do? Well, it can be as simple as giving a round of antibiotics or you know, more predictably, sometimes going and doing something called an incision and drainage. So making a small incision into the area and doing a visual inspection, see if anything's actually caught in that area. You know, um, throughout my nine years of practice, I've seen some patients have anything from like a jalapeno seed to popcorn kernels in, the, in their sockets and that was what was contributing to the infection. So we did an incision and drainage, went in there, cleaned out all the foreign particles and then um, irrigated with some uh, chlorhexidine and put the patient on a round of antibiotics. So that's basically how we would take care of our patients. So one final thing I would say in relation to all this is that because a lot of these infections can be caused by foreign particles, our recommendation to patients is really try to stick with a soft food diet and try to avoid foods that have little seeds or um, little particles that are hard to decompose out from the socket. And also um, during the healing process, if your socket is still open, we definitely, again, your doctor should give you this little irrigation syringe where you're gonna draw up some of that antiseptic rinse that we prescribe you, and you're gonna flush out your socket starting about four to five days after your procedure. So again, these are very helpful in helping to prevent infections.